Hello friends, this is Shelly from Koala Knits and Knacks. Happy to bring you another tutorial for the fall. This is such a cute little kitty in a pumpkin. And uh, once you make one, you will zip through them and make them in no time flat. Seriously, they're not hard to make. Uh, I used um, Craft Smart yarn in the color Ginger. Now, I do tell you in, later on in the video that I don't recommend that. If you have another color that you like better that's in yarn that works better, grab that instead. But I like this color and I had it, so I used it. <laughs> um, but my machine doesn't love it. And then for the tan, I used Heartland yarn in Grand Canyon. And I love that color too. And little bits of pink and black. You will need your Addy 22 needle machine and uh, some fiber fill and a darning needle. And that's it. All right, friends. We are going to begin. So you choose the yarn of your choice for the pumpkin. I'm using Craft Smart yarn in um, Ginger. It's a beast, so I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> but I have it, and it's the color I like, so I'm going to persevere through it since it's a small piece. We are going to cast on by going behind that first block, in front, behind, and in front, behind and in front, just like this, all the way around before we get to the beginning. We are going to set our row counter to zero, okay? and we're gonna continue around. Once we get in front of that last white um, needle, we're going to open our yarn feeder and we're going to put our yarn into the center there. And now we're going to persevere through 34 rows for our pumpkin, okay? So I'm gonna go really slow, <laughs> making sure that I watch as every loop goes down past those red teeth when the needle picks up the yarn and pulls it down. Okay, if it doesn't go down over those red teeth, we will get a tucked stitch. And with this difficult yarn, that happens often, but I seemingly am getting the right tension, the right speed, which is slow. And I'm gonna work through 34 rows, okay? I'm going so slow that it's, it's causing a little bit of tension on the handle because it's taking a bit for that yarn to pass down over those red teeth. But it's okay. It's only 34 rows. So go ahead with whatever pumpkin color yarn you're using and do 34 rows and I'll see you back. Oh, that one's going to tuck. Let me get my handy dandy tool. Pull that down and keep going. All right, so I have 34 rows done, and it wasn't too bad, actually. Only that one tucked stitch. I'm going to open my latch, put this yarn end between the last white and the first black. I cut off a long tail and put it on my needle already. And we are going to cast off. Turn your handle. Let's take off that first stitch. And the next one, and the next one. I always, like I mentioned in my videos, I go one or two at a time until I can get some slack on the back here. I don't want any of the, and I don't want to stretch it so so tight that um, it pulls one of these loops off of the red teeth and drops a row, okay? Okay, now I feel that there's slack on there. I can go a little further. Okay. You're gonna remove all of your stitches from your machine. And then we're going to remove the Addy or go to your workspace. Um, I'm going to remove my Addy um, because we're going to do one part at a time. So we're going to do the pumpkin. We're going to finish it. Then we're going to do the next part. Okay. So I'll see you right back. I have my piece here and we're going to stretch it. Get it all nice and soft and those rows lined up. Turned out okay. All right. And we're going to cinch both ends. <clears throat> Okay, we're going to start with one end. doesn't matter what end you choose. You're going to smooth that out as you pull it. Okay, so you don't have this all folded in. You want it nice and smooth. I'm going to cut this off a little bit. We're going to reinforce our end. Okay, so just around that top row of stitches. Gonna go around, pick them up, and tighten it. Just gives it some reinforcement. There we go, a little bit more. Okay, so I'm gonna pull that tight. 
to close. And then I'm going to just tie off a little knot here. Pull that knot down with my thumb. Then what we're going to do is put our hand into the other end. Pop that needle down through the center. Pull it through. Pinch the top and bring that through. Okay. And from there, we're going to tighten this side. Making sure that this end stays out, okay? So we're going to cut this one shorter as well. And we will do the same thing. We're going to go around and reinforce this top. Okay. So you go ahead and do that. Go around one or two times. Reinforce that. And then I'll see you back. All right, so now when you got that done, you're going to pull that inside layer up to the top layer, just like so, and you're going to tie off a good firm knot, okay? Just so the inside is right up snug to the outside layer. Be careful you don't snap it. Tie yourself a good knot. When I do stuff like this, I always tie it three times. I just want to make sure it doesn't come apart, okay? Then you can go ahead and cut that off and turn it inside out. Now we're going to take another piece of yarn that we're going to use to cinch close to the outside end. So go ahead and cut yourself off a piece. We're going to put that on our needle and we're going to pick up our piece. We're going to make sure the inside is all smoothed out so that there's no puckering on the inside. We want this to, to just be nice and perfectly smooth to get that top layer, which is or the top row here, which is in the middle of your tube and we're going to the middle of this length, okay? So now we're gonna just pick up a row, skip over a row, pick up a row, skip over a row, just like that, okay? All the way around and of course I cut off way too long of a piece but that's okay. We will shorten that momentarily. So over two bars, under two bars, which is a row. All the way around the top edge. Okay. Craft Smart Yarn, as we have come to realize, and you've known in my videos, is a yarn that is very, very difficult to work with. Um, sometimes I persevere with it anyways because I love the colors, um, but if you're a newbie and you um, aren't used to the feel of your of your machine yet and how to work with difficult yarn, you don't want to use it until you get until you get used to it. So that's why I don't recommend it. Okay, pick a color um, from a yarn that you know works well and and go from there. So you're going to grab your fiber fill and we're going to stuff this. Okay. Get our pumpkin nice and plump. I cannot believe how much fiber fill I have gone through in the last couple of months. I tell you, I buy it by the big box and it, this, I, I want another box. I just feel like I bought this box and it's almost empty. So, oh well. I've been making a lot of projects with it. It's on my YouTube channel, so check out the stuffed animals, etc. And uh, make sure you have a lot of fiber fill on hand. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to... I think that's good because we've still got to squish this down to form the pumpkin. Okay, and so you, you want it firm, but you don't want your rows splitting apart. If your rows start to split apart... I think I actually got it a little bit too full. If your rows start to split apart, you know that you've got too much fiber fill in there. So I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, I think that's perfect. And I'm going to tie a knot here. Get it as tight as I can get it without breaking it. And then we'll go around with one piece. Actually, before you do that, here's a, here's a little tip. Let me undo this. Pull it out so one side is much shorter than the other, okay? Just like that. Then you have this one to sew with, which is probably not going to be long enough anyways, but we'll give it a go. And then I'm going to tuck that in and we're going to tie this closed. Just like that. I'm going to right away get rid of this one. So I'm going to just pop it in there, pop it out, cut it off. Okay, done. Out of my way. I'm going to take this other one, put it back onto my needle. 
and we are going to sew this a little bit tighter. So we're gonna go around that top layer just like we did before. Picking up the stitches and pulling just to get it closed, okay? Coming together. The nice thing about Craft Smart yarn, if there's a nice thing, we have to find the positives too, right? <laughs> Is once you start working with it and you're playing with it and you're fiddling with it, it softens up really beautifully. So, you know, I do have some baby blankets on my channel that I've used Craft Smart yarn with, even an adult blanket. And uh, after after you um, play with it a bit, it is they are soft. So it's all in how much patience you have at the time of using a project <laughs> and if you know the techniques to work with it okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to go into that hole well first i'm going to tie a little knot always to finish it off so it doesn't come loose okay push that down with my thumb then we are going to go into the center out the center at the top sometimes hard to do because you tightened it so tight. Okay, maybe there's a thing, don't tighten it so tight. Okay, and then we're gonna pull it through. And then we're gonna pick a row. And we're just gonna go down that row with our yarn, following the same row. Do you see what I did here? I picked a row, I'm following between that row, between that stitch, all the way down. Then we're going to insert our needle. We have 22 We have 22 needles on our Addy, so we have 22 rows here. So if we wanna have five sections, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna count, I did the math for you. So we're gonna pull that, then we're gonna count over four rows. So one, two, three, four. Then we're gonna go down that row. All the way down following that, I'm gonna to have to change my yarn. And then we're going to pull it through, then we're gonna come up and we're gonna go five rows over, then four rows over, then five rows over. You'll have four sections, then five, then four, then five, then four. And if I count, if I'm counting right, that's 22. <laughs> so you go ahead and you keep doing that until you get all the way around. I have to add more yarn to this, so I'm going to do that and then I'll see you back. Okay, I'm just adding this little clip. This is the pumpkin um, after we get all these sides done. Okay, so we've got five sections there. I'm being very careful how I hold it because I've actually give you a sneak peek. It's done. <laughs> it's done, but my um, clip that I showed you how I finished these off um, did not tape, so did not record, so I have to um, in insert this. So when you put your lines on, your, your rows on, just like I had showed you, um, so you put the first one on, then you skip four rows, then you put the next one on, you skip five rows, put the next one on, um, skip four rows, and then so on and so forth until you have five sections just like this, okay? And um, and you just pull, every time you put a, the, your, your string, your yarn across to make a section, you pull it tight to get this little indent, and it just comes out beautifully. So that's what your pumpkin should look like when you're done all five sections. All right, friends, grab your Addy and we're going to move on to the next part. Okay, so for the next part, I'm using Heartland yarn in the color Grand Canyon. We're going to bring our last white and our first black needle in line with our yarn feeder. And we're going to cast on. Okay, so in front and behind, just like we did for the pumpkin. In front and behind, all the way around. And when you get halfway there, you're going to set your counter to zero. Don't forget to do that, friends. <laughs> okay, it'll be in front of that last white one into your yarn feeder. Let's pull that down here. And we are going to knit 20 rows. So 20 rows, and then I'll see you back. Twenty rows completed. I'm going to open that yarn feeder, cut off a tail of yarn, make sure that that yarn goes between the last white and the first black because we still have to finish knitting this one and this one has to knit as well. Okay, and then we're going to thread our needle and we're going to rotate. Take off that first stitch, then the second one and get some slack on the back right here before you go crazy and unwind a bunch of stitches or you'll risk losing some of them off these red teeth and dropping a row. Okay, but I have enough 
on there now so I can go a few at a time. Hold them with your thumb on your needle as you take them off and remove your project from your machine and then we will we will do the work on the head, okay? All right, I have it removed. Grab your fiber fill again and I'll see you back in just a second. All right, so friends, we are gonna do the same thing we did with the pumpkin um, to begin with, not the whole thing. <laughs> We're gonna stretch this out. We're going to cinch up this, scent, this end right here. Go around, and there's a good chance some little kids are gonna play with this. So go around twice. And seal it off, then you're going to take this end through the other end, just like we did um, with the other project. And we're going to cinch it closed similarly and stuff it, okay? So um, once I get to that, to this other end and, and begin cinching this one, I'll see you back. All right, so we have that done. We're going to go ahead and smooth this out again, just like we did with the other piece. And we're going to put a cinch yarn around, that's what I call it, around the top here in the same manner. Okay, we got a cute little head. You know what, you guys, if you're in any fall craft sales, you can make these, once you, once you make one, you've watched this video and you made one, you can whip these up so fast. It is a one of those projects that takes very little time. It's a you know, an easy project to do and yet so very, very cute. Okay, so we're going to take some stuffing. We're going to fill that. Oops, don't pull that end out. <laughs> you don't want to lose it. We're going to fill it until it's firm. But again, your sides are not, your, your rows are not um, separating. Okay, if you and I mention this in every video, but in case you haven't seen any of my other videos, if you're stuffing it so full that this starts to spread out like that, you've got it too full. You need just a nice, even um, fill that makes it look beautiful and not overly stretched. So now that's enough for me. I'm going to tie this in a knot. Okay, I'm going to hide one end and then I'm going to reinforce this little circle once with, with the other end and then um, keep that second end out because you're going to use it for sewing onto the pumpkin, okay? Okay, so we have our cute little head just like that. Isn't it sweet? We're going to take our pumpkin, use whatever side you don't like the most and put your your take your yarn first and bring it off to the side of the bottom, side of the base. You have to just kind of eyeball that. It's about two stitches up, okay? And then I'm going to actually tie a little knot just one, just so that when I pull on this, it doesn't gather this part right there. And you're gonna set that head right on top of your pumpkin, just like that, right in the middle, okay? And then you're gonna just sew it on. So you're gonna pick up a little bit of the, the pumpkin at the top there, and then you're gonna go underneath and you're gonna pick up part of the head. And you're going farly, quite far in because you do not wanna see your stitches, okay? So I'm picking up a row on my head and a row on the pumpkin. Very basic, very easy. Then you're gonna pull and you're gonna do this all the way around. See how simple this is? Like, I love simple projects. We do lots of projects that aren't simple. <laughs> As if you go to my channel, you see there's, there's others that take a little bit more work, but sometimes you just gotta find a little basic one that's just as cute and one that you just love doing. And this one will be one of your fall favorites, I think. Okay, so let's just continue on around till we get that head sewn on and then I will see you back. Perfect, okay, I made it around. So now I'm just gonna go underneath, pick up a stitch, tie it off. And one more knot. Pull that knot down with my thumb. Again, go into my work. Come out. 
pull up on that to hide that knot that you just made and cut it off. Then you take your needle and you push out those stitches and there we have it. Okay, so it's coming along. <laughs> we're gonna grab our Addy one more time and we're going to make the arms and the ears. Okay. All right, so I have my Addy set up again. I'm going to go to where there's white needles in front of the yarn feeder and I'm gonna flick up my switch to get it to flat panel. And we are going to make four little flat panel pieces. Don't get scared, it's easy, I'm gonna show you, okay? You're going to take your tan yarn, the same color of yarn that you're using for the head. We're going to cast on over three needles, only three. So it's a little bit tricky, but not hard. Behind that first one, in front of the next one, behind the third one. Then you're gonna go under that divider that's to the left of that third one. Keep going till you can get it into your yarn feeder. And then for this first row, you're just going to go a little bit farther back over so that this um, needle, you put it underneath this divider and you want this next needle to be just to, to the right of that feeder, just so that that yarn drops over on your third needle, drops down over those red teeth, okay? Then you're going to come back. You're going to put some tension on the back of your yarn. See how you can see I'm putting a little bit of tension? You're making sure that that loop is down over those red teeth. You're going to knit that first needle, knit the second, Make sure the loop is down over the red teeth on that first. You're going to knit that one. That's row one. You're going to go till you can't go anymore. Then you're going to put some tension on your yarn. Make sure that this loop goes down over the red teeth. Knit that first stitch. Make sure that you, on that third one, that it's down over the teeth. This one wants to split, so I'm going to help it with my, with my loom pick. And you're going to knit that second needle and that third needle. Now you can put the Addy stopper on. Um, if this is a third needle, you'd put one, two, three, four on this fifth one. Or because this is such a small little panel, I'm not going to do it. I'll just show you how, how you figure it out. So this is the third needle. You want to wait till this yarn drops down under that divider. So keep going. It dropped down under that divider. So now you can go back. You're going to put some tension on your back yarn. Make sure that loop goes down over that third or over those red teeth. And you're going to go back. And this one gets stuck, so help that down too. Okay. That's row three, I think. Cast on, row one, two, three, yep. <laughs> and then you're going to go back and do the same thing. Not that hard, is it? Just got to make sure those loops go down over. Now this is my third needle, so I've got to make sure it goes down under that divider before I can go back. Okay. This is row five. Okay, and go back. I'm gonna do 10 rows. Six. Seven. It's helping this first and the third one down all the time. Eight. nine and and it's because it's a small panel there's no weight to it so you have to help it down that's 10 okay so it went under that divider I'm going to cut this yarn give it a good length because you're going to use it to sew it doesn't need to be that long it's just a small piece unwind it back to that third needle then rotate your needle back or your barrel back until all those needles drop down and all these are ready to be taken off you're going to put your yarn on your needle and you are going to take these off. See, that wasn't too hard, was it? Not too hard at all. Practice makes perfect. And you have this little piece, just like this. And we're going to stretch that out like we do every other little piece that we take off of our machine. And you're going to make four of these. So it won't take you long. Go ahead, make four flat panels over three needles times ten rows. And I'll see you back. We are gonna begin with the ear first, okay? So you're gonna take this piece and once it's all stretched, which doesn't take much because it's just a tiny little piece, you're gonna take that longer end and you're going to put it on your needle, okay? And you know, to make a square, you generally will do a flat panel. I mean, you'll do waist yarn and, and um, cinch it and do it that way, but with over three needles, it's just not necessary. So you're going to, this is the inside of your work. You're gonna fold that up just like that See how you've got a little square there? You're going to fold that up. And then we're just going to 
knit across the bottom. Oh, that's a little loop. That's a little loose, but that's okay because we're going to catch it. You're going to knit across the bottom, making sure that that other yarn end stays out of the way. So there's no rocket science method to this. It's just knitting across the bottom and you can go under the loop of those stitches as you want. Knitting across the bottom, sewing across the bottom. Sorry, friends. Okay, just like that. Okay, so that is... Um, one end. Now we're going to go up the side here. I'm just going to do a mattress stitch. Well, it's kind of like a mattress stitch, but not really because you can't really get into those stitches. I'm going to just pick up two bars from the side there, and I'm going to pick up two from this side. However it works, okay? Just to take you to the top. And that is good, just like that, okay? Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go across, in and out, at the top here, just like this, and pull that tight. I'm just making a little point at the top there. I'm going to go ahead and do that again, in and out. And you see how we've pointed that top? Okay, then we're going to come down, we're going to sew this bottom. Or this side, sorry, I'm getting my words mixed up. <laughs> We're going to sew this bottom just like this, okay, to bring it together. No, oops, this needle's a bit big, so you put whatever needle's easiest for you to use. Just like that, not pulling it because we want it just to stay flat on the bottom here, okay. Got a little point there. We're going to tie these two off. So just very, very simply sewn, okay. Taking a little flat panel, making a triangle out of it for a little ear. Just like so. I'm going to take this short one. And I'm going to hide it up into the work. And practice makes perfect, my friends, because this is the second ear that I've done. And it's nicer than the first one. So, <laughs> so it happens with all of us. Okay, So we're going to cut that off. Get rid of this. If you want, you can make this even more pointier by taking a yarn and sewing that close there. Um, and I might do that after I get it on. We'll see. I might do that to the other ear too. Um, and what we're going to do is I've already put one on so I can show you the placement. Yeah, I'm going to make this one a little bit. This one turned out good too, but I'm just going point to point this one a little bit more. You have to choose um, how you want your front. I want the big section to be in the middle of the front. This is the back, actually. This is the front. Um, nope, I had that wrong. This is the front. I want the middle section to be at the front. You can do it so that that line there is at the front too, but I don't like it as much. I like I like the, the big wider section to be at the front. So that's how I've chosen. I sewed this one on, but I left my tail. I always do that with any animals that I make um, because then when you put the second one on, if you don't like how it matches, um, you can remove them, okay? So I'm going to put that on about there and then... It looks a little bit wider, but I pull in the sides, so you'll see that in a second. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. Hold that with my fingers. I'm going to just grab one little piece of the head, one little row there, okay? And I'm going to go underneath here. Okay, and then when I get to my next row stitch, I'm going to go under, pick it up just like that, okay? I always then pull on this and it pulls see how that did it it pulled that corner in I don't like to have a sharp corner there so on the second stitch I pull it in okay and then I continue down down the road okay so now I'm going to put one in the bottom of the ear there so into the middle you only need three stitches on this okay just like that then I'm going to pick up down here I'm going to take the very corner right here I'm going to pull that tight and then with that corner, I'm going to also go up. So I'm going to just go up into the middle here and pull it. Okay, I don't want a sharp corner there either. Okay, so then I've got my two little ears placed. I'm going to make this one a little bit more pointy. Before I take this yarn off, I'm going to just thread it up. So this is where you do like your fine work. Okay, so I think attention to detail I always say is the most important that's not quite centered with that is it let's see 
Yeah, that's good. It's the most important. So now I'm going to take that up and I'm going to just point this ear a little bit more. Just by sewing it like that. See how that did that? Easy, easy peasy. But I don't want to knot at the top of my head, so I'm going to go back down there. Or at the top of my ears. So I'm going to go back down to the base. Just like that. Oops, I pulled it too much. Now it's rounded again. There we go. And I'm going to sew this corner again. Just with a knot to tie off. Okay. Isn't that a cute little ear? Turns out beautiful, okay? So one more little knot, then I'm gonna hide this in the head and take it out the back. And you go ahead and sew the other one on. I'm gonna fix this little point and then we'll work on the arms, okay? All right, I'm happy with that. I think it's cute. I did point off the ears a little bit more um, and I love it, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the arms and we're just gonna pull together the ends, okay? Just like that, okay? Just like that. You're going to take that little piece and you're going to stretch it out just to form the shape a little bit better, okay? So we have it just like that. Then we're going to take it and we're going to sew it onto our kitty, okay? So here's the row. Here's the row. I'm going to go off to the side of that row right here, okay? And I'm just going to attach it. So I'm going to go underneath the head and close to the neck. And we're just going to sew this little guy on. Pick it up. You only need two stitches at the top. Just like that. Okay, so it's secure. And then I'm going to come down and I'm going to pick up a stitch and just pick up one row there, okay? Just to get down a little bit farther where I can do a little bit better work here. Then I'm going to go in there and I'm going to mattress stitch with one stitch at a time. Usually for blankets and stuff, we do two stitches. I'm going to pick up one bar just along the edge here. And you don't even have to do it this fine. You can actually just um, sew over the side. Take a smaller needle and sew over the side. But I'm going to just go down a few stitches here, just like this. That's one. Pick up that next one, just like that. Hoping I'm still in the camera. Pick up that next one, just like that. And I'm going to do one more. Okay, just like so. And that's sewn down. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it so it's the other way around because it's easier. I'm going to just go down into that next stitch and up on the other side. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna get it between those stitches right there. I'm going to grab a bar and grab a bar. And I'm gonna work my way up. Again, sew this on however you're most comfortable doing it. This is how I'm doing it, but honestly, I don't think it really matters if you do the mattress stitch or not, um, but you'll see how, how this um, finishes. You just want to make sure that when you're sewing it, that you don't see the seam, like the bars that you sew with. Like you don't want to see lines as you're sewing. That's why I'm choosing it to do it this way, um, because you want it to look like a part of the body, not like something that was sewn on, <laughs> right? So there we go. That's down like that. I'm going to just put that down and come up in the middle of the neck just like that. I'm going to tie this off. Okay, pull that tight down with my thumb. One more time. And then I'm gonna hide this up into the head because it's the same color and into the back. So if it ever peeked out a little bit, then you wouldn't see it. If you did it in the pumpkin, you'll see it if it ever peeks out, okay? And then you just cut it off. Fix your stitches there. Bring it back around. We've got one arm put on. Go ahead and do the other, and then we'll work on the face. 
All right, so when you're happy with how that looks, and I am, we are going to put some pink yarn onto our needle and we're going to make the face, okay? So we're going to just go in the side of the head and come up to the middle there. We're just gonna make a small little triangle for a nose, okay? So just over one row of stitches and down one row to a point. See, just like that. Now if I go back up and under and up to that other corner, see, just like that. And then come down into my point, I have my point. Then we just need to fill it in. So I'm gonna just go over top of that bar. I don't like to see the bars. Anybody who follows my videos, you know I don't like to see this bar here. So I always go on top of it and just use it as my guide. Come back down, go up to the middle of it because this is a very, very small, tiny nose. Okay, I'm gonna use my thumb to put that in place. Go back down, come up one more time, just to the right of that bar there. Use my finger to guide that. Pull very gently. See how that's coming along? Now I'm gonna go down and make a new point, just a little bit lower. Then I'm gonna come up about a half a stitch there, just like that, okay? Use my finger again to guide that. And then, cause I didn't, this point looked square. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna go into there and then I'm gonna come up. You have to really eyeball what's working for you because making the face is not always easy, especially on a small piece, okay? I'm gonna come back down to there and out there. Yeah, see how that worked? That finished it off beautifully. So you just have to visualize it and then go for it, okay? Back up to that point, out the side of the head, and rewind this and watch it a few times if you need some help, okay? Out the side of the head, just like that. Tie them off and then hide them in the head and pull them out as we've been doing, okay? All right, so once we have that done and like how it is, we're gonna take our black yarn and we're going to thread our needle. Don't ask me where I got this tool from, sorry. <laughs> I've had it for many, many years um, and so I couldn't tell you. And we're going to go up to the side of the head. We're gonna go over. About there, I think. And we're gonna do a very small eye. So I'm not even gonna go a full a full um, stitch, maybe half a stitch up, okay? And then I'm gonna just layer it twice. And then I'm gonna go over this side Yeah, just a tiny little eye. I'm gonna go to this side and I'm gonna do the same thing. Okay, so it's very small. Not quite a full stitch. And then back down so it's twice and out the side. Okay, just like that. And do I like that? Yes, I do. I think it's perfect. Okay, so then what I want to do is um, we're going to do the whiskers. And I think that this is in a good position for the first whisker. So I'm going to actually just leave it. If you've got your, your yarn coming in under your ear like that, um, this will be my middle strand. It just worked out good for me. So I'm going to just go um, over to line it up with the eye and go straight across and underneath that point of the eye. Then I'm going to part way up. Just like that. Okay, so I've got a straight line there. I'm going to be careful I don't pull it so tight. Then I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna measure it this one. I'm gonna go straight across from that one. Just like that. Okay, and then back in. And I'm gonna do the opposite on the other side, okay? So I will come out right under the eye is my is my measuring point. This one went across to the point to the lined up with the bottom of the ear. So this one's going to line up to the base of the ear and then back to that point. 
and then up a little bit and across. Oh, this little guy's so cute. Back down to the point and out your entrance to where you entered, okay? Just like that. Before you take it apart, you have to assess the situation. See how that one crossed over? So I just, I can easily fix that. Just like that. And I think he's perfect. So I'm gonna cut this off. I'm going to tie these two and then I'm gonna hide them back into the back of the head, okay? Go ahead and do that. All right, friends. So there we have our little kitty in a pumpkin. Isn't he just the cutest little thing? And he will sit with the rest of my pumpkins and, um, Enjoy the fall season. <laughs> okay, so thanks for joining me in this tutorial once again. Um, I appreciate you so much. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And come on over to my Facebook group, Koala Knits and Knacks, and join us over there. I'll put the link in the description box below. So thanks again, friends. Please make some of these and show us in my group. I'd love to see. Take care and have a wonderful day.